Wildcats showcase were able to dominate the line of scrimmage and look to do so again today. Kickoff is bobbled at the goal line, scooped up at the five, and trying to find a little bit of daylight is Lynn Bowden. He'll be tripped up at about the nine yard line. For Kentucky right now, how can they complement that big victory today at home? Certainly don't want a letdown. This guy hasn't had a letdown in four years as a starter, the tight end C.J. Conrad, and he'll be partnering up with his starting quarterback, Terry Wilson. Eighth play of the drive for the Wildcats. Wilson with time. Wilson looking deep, and now we'll tuck it and run to the 40, and here comes that lightning speed. 20-10, touchdown Kentucky. 42 yards for the sophomore, Terry Wilson. This is something you can't coach. You have to have a great feel for this and great instincts to know when to escape the pocket and then use your athleticism and speed to outrun the defense. That was really good pass coverage by Murray State on the back end. Third and five over the middle and broken up on the play. Again, trying to squeeze it into a tight window to Jonathan Moss. Back to receive the punt. And he'll let it sail over his head, bounces at the five and goes into the end zone. And a handoff behind the right side of that line. Turning it outside and getting knocked out of bounds at the 20 is A.J. Rose for the number of terrific running backs over the years. As Wilson Coxon fires, completes for first down yardage. Wildcats go empty. Wilson, quick hitter, and read well by Murray State. Nice job by the Racers defensively. It was Josh Ali. Yeah, I should celebrate not getting the end zone, getting the end zone. I'm just glad not only did Robinson pick it up and go, but unlike a lot of players, he didn't just drop the ball at the goal line, which Mississippi State and South Carolina. Big hole on the right side of that offensive line, and that'll be first down yardage for Rodney Castile. A pickup on first down, nothing doing there. That was read all the way by Mike Edwards. The safety senior out of Cincinnati. Boy, this was easy. Watch the quarterback's eyes. As soon as he looks, that's exactly when Mike Edwards goes in the backfield in a sure tackle. Well, that's just textbook play, defensive play, after giving up a big run. They do on third and long. Anderson buying time, throws one, trying to thread the needle, but can't do it. The coverage was there on Daquan Dallas. One of the best moments you see in college sports these days when a young man gets the word. He's no longer a walk-on. He's got himself a free ride as the punt sails out of bounds at UK. Snell again, making people miss, bouncing off defenders and dragging defenders inside the 15. 16 more yards for Benny Snell. With the racers are in. Little end around. And a good job by Murray State. Lynn Bowden has nowhere to go. He'll take a loss on the play and staying home on the left side of your screen. You get white jerseys outside of blue jerseys. That's a good thing for the racers' defense. They don't. Blitz coming. Wilson evades it. Wilson will race to the sideline and be pushed out. On the way and through. Kentucky tacks on three more. And with 11.29 to go first, they need the 29 of Kentucky. Kentucky dials up a blitz. Anderson over the middle. Another drop in and out of the hands of Tyree Gray. Might have been a little bit behind him, but a catch you'd love to have. I think the Ohio State and Penn State look to be the top two teams in that conference as Wilson is ball out. Ball is loose and recovered. by Tyler Stephanie for Murray State. He's gonna go right by the tackle, Kinyard, and he does a great job of getting his hands on the football, creating a negative play third in a country mile for the Wildcats. Third and 26 now. Wilson, rifles one, complete. Over the linebacker in front of the secondary, perfectly thrown ball for 25 yards. Trips to the bottom of your screen on first down. It's Snell again, and Snell gallops through a hole. 
and just continues to deliver punishing run after punishing run. He's so hard to bring down 12 yards for Snell. The game right now is Kentucky knocking on the door. And so is Snell. Benny Snell, second effort, a touchdown, the 35th career score for the junior. Second down and long. And caught at the 29. It'll be a third and short for Murray State if they want to try and get some points on the board. It's third down and 10. Anderson going deep over the middle, and that time he gets some help from a receiver. Good catch in traffic by Honeycutt. They still have one timeout, four-man rush for Kentucky. Anderson again over the middle, caught at the 15, and down to the five-yard line. That's Corey Newble with his first reception for 31 yards. You feel the heat from behind, but watch as the receiver breaks through the under coverage. He actually snaps that head back. That ball is on him. Officially from 28. And he knocks it through. Murray State's on the board. It's a two-possession game at the half. 17-3, Kentucky in the lead. Stay tuned for the halftime report on third down opportunities. Nothing there on first down for DJ Pennick. Cash Daniel wide on a third down and 12. Kentucky rushes four and in and out of the hands. Another ball in the hands of a Murray State wide receiver that is not reeled in. Ty back to receive the punt. It's a good one. Bouvier is going to have to retreat about 15 yards over the shoulder grab at the 20. And now weaving his way just to pick up something out to the 24-yard line. A 55-yard punt. That's a touchdown if the ball's on the money. Again, Wilson all kinds of time and a wide open target and a leaping catch by Lynn Bowden. Jared Ohio climbs the ladder right in front of his head coach who also resides from Youngstown, Ohio. Good concentration, wide open. Down. Blitz coming. Wilson sidesteps it. And now scrambling. And this is where he's most dangerous. Wilson putting on a display of moves. Gets the first down and then some. A 21-yard scramble. Quick toss in the flat. And some extra yards after catching that a fumble and he got it back and kentucky very fortunate to get it back baker fighting for extra yardage had it stripped looked like richard David richardson yeah. recovered it that's a good attacking the football on the edge i mean those guys have been doing it on defense sanford gets his hands on the football this time for murray state and luck the kentucky drive stays alive draw play and nothing there for aj rose the sophomore a loss of one on the play. Been very crisp so far. Third and ten here. Nobody open. There we go. Lobs it up there. And if he leads Lynn Bowden a little bit more, maybe. But Bowden has to stop, go back for it. And the pass falls incomplete. Dior Johnson on the coverage. Set, snap, perfect. And so too is the kick. Kentucky drive stalls. They settle for three with 7.19 to go third quarter. Get the ball back to the offense on a third down and eight. Four-man rush. And the pass caught underneath. Actually incomplete. Bobbled and then dropped by Cleveland. Bouvier will watch it bounce in front of him. And roll dead at the 28-yard line. And it will be Rose stacked up and driven backwards for a loss. With Flair on second and four and yards after catch for Lynn Bowden. 24 yard pickup. Wilson again looking to throw and now starting to heat up. That ball right on target. A first down and then some for Bowden again at the nine yard line. Be an undercover cop. Goes Wildcat here and Rose solves the case there. Finds the end zone for a touchdown. Anderson, quick toss in the flat and that goes nowhere. That's just a let's try to minimize the damage kind of play. He was on target 
Just didn't get a whole lot of help. Now we've got trouble on special teams. Somehow gets it away and is going to get a nice bounce. This could have been a heck of a lot worse. Instead, Kentucky will set up shop at the 44-yard line. It's in harm's way, at first he has to reach out with one hand just to haul it in, and then how is that not blocked? They have to show that tape a little bit more. That's great athleticism to, to the backfield for the first time. And he'll get the carry here. He's got a convoy ahead of him in first down yardage, rumbling for 12. And a little razzle-dazzle here, reverse. It's going to be Snell on the lead block, and that block is going to pave the way for Zaire Hughes. Touchdown, Wildcats, 43 yards. Watch Benny Snell on this. The block by Snell. First, at the quarterback position, he played the Wildcat. There's the block, and then downfield, After Ali the play, gets one the as well. Like conduct. Offense. Empty backfield. And a quick throw. It works. Good run here. And a burst down the sideline. And angled out of bounds at the 21-yard line is Rodney Castile. Four-man rush. Anderson has it knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Michigan game. Kentucky was down a couple of scores early on. He had to come off the bench and threw a big touchdown pass to David Bouvier that really changed that golden arm here. Kind of a less than pressure spot 31 point cushion go ahead and show it off like he does right there pass complete at the 40 and out of bounds inside the 25 yard line is Cleveland Thomas the sophomore wide out from Miami a gain of 40 and that's a poke Cox and fires complete at the 12 nice move inside the five a face mask and a touchdown for Allen Daly the freshman If they're going to make it to the next level, it can't just be a talent scenario. It's got to be the right attitude in play as we see another backup quarterback. That is sure Bentley exchange at the end of the first half. Might be a different scenario here that we're looking at. Best run of the game for D.J. Pennick. Firing through the hole and picking up first down yardage, a gain of 16. Hit and picked off. That is Jamin Davis with the interception for the Wildcats <laughs> in a span of about two or three weeks. Every uh, closing season, it seems like it moves up and down, right? Nice carry here. Rodriguez keeps the legs churning. Gain of 16. On second down, big hole and an aggressive run. Look at this. Carrying defenders inside the five and all the way to the two. A steady dose of Christopher Rodriguez, 27 yards. He breaks into the second level and he's arm fighting and keeping those legs pounding. It's carrying Jason Johnson with him inside the five. He finally gets down to about the two yard line. Danny Clark, the third string quarterback in the game, rolling out and Clark will have his first touchdown. The red shirt freshman will keep that game ball, his first career score. The program that cares so much about basketball. This is almost a sack, and now an open receiver downfield. A big play there for Murray State. Sometimes the, the misconception, I want to make sure I clear, only SEC school to do it. It's not Florida. It's not Alabama. Nice run here. And what an effort. Wow, Preston Rice. What an effort by Rice. Preston Rice says, wait a minute, before you continue with your filler material, I'm going to provide a highlight run. I mean, the effort he shows, the determination to get in the end zone, he breaks an arm tackle at the five, and then he gets help inside the one. Victory formation for Big Blue. Kentucky will be 3-0 and with a 48-10 victory over Murray State. Terry Wilson put together another solid game, and he'll need to be at his very best next week against the boys from Starkville. I think there's a lot there 